Hey, hey, welcome back to the Ernest P YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and today we're going to talk about oil magnets. All right, so there's this trend I've been seeing go around every now and then about putting a magnet on your oil filter to catch the metal particles that may be flowing around in your oil. Um, I have a few issues with this and I'll go over those here real quickly and uh, what I think is a better solution. So I've seen people put little neodymium magnets, those strong little ma metal magnets on their oil filters here to catch metal particles that may be wearing out from the bearing material or the crankshaft or camshaft or what, whatever it may be. Um, my issue with that is being that the oil filter is fine enough to catch those metal particles. If you ever cut open an oil filter for an engine that's, you know, lost some bearings um, or, you know, had some sort of catastrophic fa failure, you'll see all the metal particles that are trapped inside this filter. You know, when the oil gets pushed through and filtered through, putting a magnet on the side there to catch any sort of metal particles isn't really going to do much because that metal is not going through the filter. Once it, by the time it's got there and it's caught by that magnet, theoretically, um, you know, it's already done on its journey through your engine. I think there may be a better solution to this. However, I don't do it. And, uh, you know, if, if you're the kind of person that wants that extra protection, this may be for you. But again, it's not something that I even do. I trust the filters enough to say, hey, if metal particle starts flowing through there, it's going to get caught in the filter. Wh what happens is that metal's heavier than the oil. So it, it's just going to sink to the bottom of the oil pan. Even when those pistons are flopping in the oil, mixing everything up, the oil pick up the straw, it's not going all the way down to the bottom of that pan to pick everything up. So those metal particles in theory should rest all the way at the bottom of the pan. The better solution I think is to put one of those magnets on the bottom of your oil pan, or at least on this on the side at the very edge in the lowest corner of your oil pan. Th this is because you'll notice, especially on transmissions, uh, but a lot of cars as well, they will have a magnet built into the oil plug. You may consider looking in to see if you can get one of those for your vehicle as well. Just an oil plug that has a magnet on the end of it, that'll collect all those metal particles that are already flowing down to the bottom of the oil pan. Uh, at that point, they're not. you don't have to worry about them getting sucked up push through their filter um, the designs they've made they do a good job at you know eliminating any kind of additional wear that may happen on your motor from metal particles being in there again if you want to put a magnet on there go to the go to your oil pan go to the bo bottom corner usually where the oil plug is at put it right below the oil plug right next to it but somewhere down in that lower corner of your oil pan where those metal particles are going to tend to settle either way and that metal and that magnet there will hold all those metal particles in that one spot. So at least they're not going to slosh around in the oil or risk the chance of, you know, maybe one floating up through the oil and getting sucked up if that's what you're worried about. If they flow all the way down to that bottom corner, then that magnet will just hold them there and they won't have the power to get up, the freedom to get up out into the oil again. And then when you change your oil right before you pull the plug, just pull that magnet off, pull the plug and that heavy oil should wash all those metal particles out of there. Again, or just get a plug, an oil plug that has a magnet built into it. That way when you pull it out, you know, you've already got all your metal particles there and you can just wipe it with a rag. And you'll see that's pretty common on some vehicles they have them, um, but on a lot of transmissions, they'll usually have a magnet as well. And that, that brings up the second thought is you can put, you can do the same thing to your transmission if you want. Go to the bottom corner of your transmission if you have a transmission oil plug or uh you know if you don't have a plug you just have a gasket and you have to pull the pan to drain it just go to the bottom corner of that pan and put one of your magnets there if that's uh something that you want to do and that way when all the metal particles naturally tend to settle to the bottom they'll get stuck there they won't be able to flow back out if anything happens you take a corner real hard oil sloshes and it can't move those metal particles away that magnet will hold them down there in the bottom corner where they're not going to risk getting picked up and uh, pushed through all the gears and uh, pistons or bearings as well so this has been another video on the Ernest P YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, please like and subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing as we're trying to grow the channel. And uh, we appreciate the input everybody has. If you have anything you want to say, leave it in the comments down below. We'll try and answer everybody if we can. And as always, thanks for coming. Have a good day and peace out.